Hello, Sally. So, the painter has just been here, guys. Um, as you may remember, when we moved in here, the door frame by Paul's office wasn't painted on that side, so he done that. Um, and even the paint guy re agrees that it looks like someone had like an early Friday off, just left and didn't finish. He also painted the window in here, which looked horribly, almost like yellow stain. But he painted that now, it looks all nice, the window frame. He also painted underneath the window here, because these were dark grey, but he gave them a little paint, which is nice. And then the big job is the balcony. Wow, that does look very different. Those panels out there were like a dark green. Now they are a nice, nice color, and they look really good. Makes the room look much bigger out here. So, uh, that's a good thing. Job well done. They're busy out here, look at all that ground coming out there. And Sally is telling, what? Oh, you are a minx. The worst kind ever. Yes, you are. You devil. <laughs> Look at this guys, I'm starting to work on my pants, they're not done yet of course, I haven't been sewing yet, but this is all the um, stuff, you can see how much more wire they're going to come out, um, but this is like, that's where the normal stitching was, so I'm adding about, I would say I'm adding about a good inch and a half, which is about that much, which is about what I need so I can like, wrap them and all that, let's hope that works. <laughs> Anyways, um, we better get cracking on because I got the skate park later today. So, uh, yep, in a little rush to get them um, to get done. So we are finally done, guys. The floor's been washed, the hallways and all that have been hoovered and cleaned, and uh, yeah, it's ready for the guy to come home to his house now. So yeah, that's it. Kitchen is all nice and tidy. So is the utility room. So now you can come home and move in. So guys, they're really busy outside doing some landscaping. I'm not really sure exactly what they're going to be making in there, but they are digging away. So yeah. I'm still working on my pants. Um, these here are my military pants. I like how they sit on my legs. They're like, not too skinny, but they are kind of snug. And I'm going to use these as a reference on how wide I want the legs on my suit pants because I don't want them to look like ordinary suit pants I want them to have a little bit of style um, so I'm going to be working on that but uh, I'm soon enough at the skate park it won't be long before I have to leave here but uh, at least my pants um, are getting ready for um, sewing um, I don't hope they'll give me too baggy ass <laughs> we'll see but uh, I'll give them a stitching along here shortly and I also have to fold this out and do the same in here. Basically, um, if you guys can see, all of this has to be stitched together as one long piece. We don't know yet. And of course now, having Sally in the house, we can easily see there's like white dog everywhere. <sighs> Downside of having a yellow puppy, but all the love she gives makes it all worth it. <laughs> I wouldn't trade her for anything in the world. This is the side where I haven't sewn yet. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't do this machine, so I had to do it by hand. This is the other side that I have sewn. You can hardly see it. It's done really well. Um, so yeah, I've done that now on the back side here. So those are stitched nicely. And then the last thing is just to stitch everything together. I'm just going to hand sew this over here as well, but I have to go to skate park now, so I have to leave it until I come home um, to get this all nicely stitched up. But this is like a job I had to do by hand because it was a little bit fiddly, so this, yeah. But um, thankfully I am not panicking or anything. I'm kind of like feeling secured about where I am and what I'm doing. And uh, look, I got a pink sewing machine, yeah, pink and purple. Um, they had that color and then they had like an awful green one when I bought it, so I got this Elmer Swiss design, so yeah. All right, but I am about to head out to skate park, so, um, I better put my hoodie on because it's a little bit chilly out and windy. And then let's get going and look after all the silly kids out there. Oh, oh shit! 
So guys, it seems like it worked. They're a little bit tight, but um, I can still like get into them. Um, as you can see my stomach is a little bit floppy wobbly over. That's because I'm chubby, but um, at least now I can close them. They sit nicely on my front, and it shows up some booty, booty. Um, they look nice, and I think I've done a really good job. Considering it's the first time I ever tried this, so now I got suit pants. I'm still a little bit interested in maybe see if I can like slim them a little bit but it probably won't be much but I don't know um, but they have to be a little bit shorter they're a bit too long and so I would say maybe about about that much to come off um, so when I stand up I can walk in them and they're not coming up but at least now they fit and yeah, I, I, I'm still going to lose some more weight, of course, but now I can get into them. So that's it. I have a suit for Saturday. If I put them here. All right. That bit from there to there is what is extended. And I've sewn everything through here. All this, I, all this through there and there I had to hand stitch because the machine couldn't get to that. And then... Um, I fold this down. This needs to be ironed so it's all flat and nice. I have to do the same in the butt because you can see the old crease. Like from where I'm showing. Eh. Got like a funny fold here. I just have to look at. You can see that? So I just need to correct that. Yes, I got a suit for so cheap money I can, and I can look like somewhat decent for the uh, YouTube awards. Yeah. Alrighty. Awesome and epicness. So you don't have to go and spend money on on every single expensive thing because this here look like an expensive suit though but um, yeah we're getting there we're getting there so um that's about it and then the skate park is later on so you'll probably see me out there um from now on i'm leaving my scooter out there so i don't have to bring it back and forth but my buddy is still like worn i didn't go to the